Tony from Cooking Around again. Uh, welcome to my kitchen in Popa. Uh, what are we going to do today? Today, what I want to do is I want to do something special with fishy fillet again. And this is going to be awesome. And it's going to be something that is basically 10 minutes prep and it's a little bit crazy. You're going to see as we're going along. So, what do I have here? I have one fillet here, which has already been filled for me, and it is a cod. I would say about uh, half a kilo here. I'm not going to make any more. This is basically, uh, I would say, almost two portions here. And I'm going to do something special with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make fish nuggets and I'm going to make it my way. And how am I going to coat it? Not your normal beer batter or anything like that. I want you guys to go out and get some potato chips, get your favorite kind, which mine are Lay's, which is onions and salt. And this, believe it or not, is the perfect way to make fish nuggets my way. When I used to do the fish competition back in Canada, and we used to catch the salmon or catch any rainbow or any type of fish, we used to fillet it, and we used to use only potato chips. So you can bake this, but I'm going to deep fry it. And the reason with deep fry it because when I was out camping with my friends and fishing, we'd always have a deep fryer. So let me show you how to put this together. It's going to be awesome. We take our portion of fish here, and it is a cod. You can use salmon, trout, any kind of fish that you want. So basically, what I do is I just take the fish and I cut it. I cut this little end piece off here, just like that, and I cut it right down the middle like that. Now, this portion here happens to have quite a bit of little bones sticking out here. So I'm going to have to remove those bones. And for that, I have this handy, handy, dandy little kind of bone remover. And all I do is just basically pass my hands along the sides here. I can feel the bones. Now normally, with most of the fillets, you do not have to do this, but with this particular fillet, after checking, I find out that it has bones. So it depends on where you buy the fish. This apparently did not remove all the bones. So run my hands along here, just like that, and I don't feel any. Now what I do is I just take it and I cube it into bite sizes like this. Just like that. So I'm gonna take care of the rest. And now you take a little bowl like this. And you take a little bit of milk and just put it about a quarter of a cup. You really don't need more. I'm going to take a pinch of salt or two. And some salt if you want. We're going to put that in there. And we mix it all around. And we take our fish and we put that inside. And we just mix that all around. And you set that on the side for at least 30 minutes and we'll go on to our next. And we're back. Grab yourself a nice little bowl here and grab your favorite type of chips. Um, you can even use tortillas if you want, uh, those spicy type if you want. So, let's get going with it. So, I need about half of this size back. I really need Side. And we have our chips inside, and you take your handy dandy hand here and you just wish them out. That's my favorite part. Now, if my mother saw me doing this, she would say, You know, you are absolutely going crazy with this cooking. I've never seen anybody do what you're doing for fish. Since my parents came from Portugal, they are fish experts and they would absolutely cry in this oven. So, you have to really, really work it to get it small. Now, you can put it in a bag and you can pound it with the back of a hammer or whatever you want. But you know something? I find just by putting your hands here and just working it away, it works absolutely fine. And that is what we want. 
Now, to this, I would add basically any salt because basically everything is in here. The only thing I'm gonna add is I want just a little bit more spicy and I'm not using spicy tortilla chips either. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paprika and like I said, you don't have to do this and some chips may already contain a little bit of spice. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit like that just to give it that little pizzazz and I'm gonna shake it around. And we're back, we have a Teflon fry pan here with about, let's say about, in, about one eighth of oil and it's on uh, medium high. And what I usually do is I take a little tiny chip like that and I just throw it in and you can see that it is bubbling. So now we have our potato chips mix here and we have our fish. So what we do is we take one of our cute fish and we just move that around like that, get it well coated. Now you can put this in the bag and you can shake it all around if you want. I like to do it one at a time. That's just the way I am. And you just place that in there like this. And I'm gonna to have to hurry now with the other pieces. Now they don't have to be completely coated. Don't forget to shake up the extra meat, extra milk. They're going to jump a little bit on you, but that's okay. That's part of the fine cooking. And man, oh man, does that smell good. And we let it cook for about uh, two inch on each side. And how does that start to look? Oh, absolutely awesome. So, we're gonna cook them until they reach about halfway and then we are gonna flip them. But man, oh man, does that look great. So, how they turn out really good, awesome. Move them around a little bit, this is just a stick. And, that's the awesome. Turn the heat down just a little bit, if it gets too hot. And now we are going to flip them just like that. Turn off the heat, and there you have it. Simple, fast, and it's going to be absolutely out of this world because you will use something that you like, not what I like. So, thank you very much for. Uh, let me share this recipe with you. Thank you very much for being on my channel and I will prepare this Show you the pictures how they turn out and I will see you again on my next cooking recipe. Thank you very much from cooking Time.